Construction Geometry Part 2. This is Guy Delosier, Go Engineer, Senior Applications Engineer. <clears throat> in, ge in Construction Geometry Part 1, I talked about uh, using center lines and some other uh, entities to uh, uh, help you make your parts and pieces uh, a little bit easier uh, when you're doing sketching. Um, I'm going to continue that here. Um, for instance, I've got this uh, shelled out box and I want to put six equally spaced ribs in here. Well, ribs they have to start up high and go down low, so I'll pick a, uh, open a sketch up here on this top face um, and look at this thing straight on here. <clears throat> and I want to get some uh, lines and uh, I'll just put some lines in. Um, put about six of them in here. Don't care what the spacing is. Uh, just want to uh, make uh, reasonably sure that they are vertical, uh, not mandatory, but um, for what I'm doing, I want them to be vertical. Now, here's the trick for spacing things out. If I take a center line uh, and I just put center line sections, each uh, one center line between each segment here uh, of these main lines, I'm putting it right on the midpoint of each line and the midpoint of the edge. Um, could be done some other ways, I suppose. Um, so I've got these different center lines. I've got six regular lines and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven center lines. I want these center lines now. If I window from from left to right, it only captures what is totally inside the window. So it's going to capture only the center lines, and I wish to make those equal. Boom. There you go. That quick. Threw those center lines on there, and it automatically spaced that out. And it makes no difference um, what the size of this part is, as long as those center lines are equal. And then, of course, what happens? You know, before I get this thing even made, the boss comes by and he says, oh, gee, there's been a change. Uh, I need five of those ribs, not six. Oh, man. OK, so fine. Get rid of one center line, get rid of one line, and just attach that to the edge. Boom, we're done. There we go. So if I exit out of this thing now, uh, and I make my uh, uh, rib feature, <clears throat> didn't even have to exit out, by the way. I uh, just did that by uh, habit. Okay, so there we go. So now I've got five equally spaced ribs. And again, it makes no difference what the size of this thing is. Come on. Let's make that three and uh, rebuild. And I still have five equally spaced ribs, no matter what the size of this thing is. So let's go to four, rebuild, back to six, rebuild, 6.32587. It doesn't matter. It automatically spaces these out exactly and then in my drawing I could put on some reference dimensions uh, to uh, document this uh, for my machinist if that's uh, what's necessary okay so let's look at something else here uh, let's turn this over on the back side um, and uh, I'll use the hole wizard here uh, to put uh, uh, some holes in. Now, lots of times the requirements are um, I need, uh, you know, holes uh, in the corners and so far in, so far up, etc. Uh, or maybe even uh, one or two holes along the sides uh, uh, to go with that. So I'm going to uh, use the hole wizard here and I'm just going to use some uh, countersink uh, number eight uh, uh, flathead screws and I'll make these through all holes and I'm going to go to positions now and I'm going to pick this face. So this is where I want to do my uh, my um, holes. So I'm going to use the point tool to locate where my holes are going to go. But first I want to use a rectangle. I'm just going to use a corner rectangle and I'm going to do something like that. Then I'm going to use a center line to line this up for me. So I'm going to go from the middle of that edge to the middle of that line and the same on one end. Okay, make that horizontal. 
Oh, come on here. Fat fingered, sorry. Uh, so now this will be symmetrical, okay? Even though I had no other uh, symmetrical relationships in here, uh, my origin's down here in the corner, so I didn't have an origin in the center to hook it to. So now this thing is symmetrical, so all I've got to do is just to mention how far it's supposed to be off of the sides. Well, let's say it's a half an inch. Uh, and in from the ends, we'll say three quarters. Three slash four, pretty much 750. There we go. So I've got this where I want it now. So now what I need to do is put uh, my points on here. So I'll go back and get the point tool. <clears throat> and I'll just pick there, and I'll pick there, and I'll pick there, and I'll pick there. And before I get this done, what happens? The boss comes by and says, oh, I need another hole on each one of those edges right in the middle. So I can put one there, hover over this line. It wakes that up, put one right there. Hover over this line, wakes up the midpoint. So now I'm going to have holes in the middle of each line and on the vertices of each line. One, two, three, go. And it's that easy to use construction geometry to line things up the way you want it. And then if you need to change something, um, I can double click here and say, oh, that, sh that should have been uh, 5 8. So 5 slash 8 and rebuild and boom you know, we're ready to go. Okay? A couple real nice, handy, quick things here um, to show you how to use uh, construction geometry. Um, this is Guy Delosier, Go Engineer, Senior Applications Engineer. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.